y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks for stopping by good note 6 recently received an update and one of the new features allows you to hyperlink your documents within the app this is a game changer you can now create custom hyperlinks anywhere in your digital planner or journal i thought this would be a good time to show you how to create a notebook with hyperlink tabs just using the good notes app let's get into it the first thing you'll need to do is create a notebook. So go to the empty box with the plus sign and you'll select notebooks. Here you have the option to customize the cover on your notebook. You can choose whatever cover you want and you can customize the colors of your notebook. Just select the color drop down and from here you can choose the covers that are pre-designed for the notebook or you can select the custom template option down at the bottom and create the cover color that you want. Anytime that you do use the customization option for your template covers, once you've created the cover that you want to use, you can name the cover that you've created and save it to your cover template so then you'll have it to use later on. Now select apply and to close this pop-up box inside the bigger one, just tap outside of the smaller box and it'll close the little one. I'm going to keep my notebook as a portrait notebook, but here you can use the size option to make it a landscape if you want. And you can also choose the color templates. I'm going to stick with a white template because I want to use that as my divider. Once you've selected your page color, got your cover on the template, you can also name your notebook here. I forgot to do that, but you can give it a name and then select create. Now I'm going to go in and add a title to the cover of my notebook. I'm going to make this notebook as if I were in school, but of course you can make your notebook for whatever. You can use it for work or however you need to use a notebook. But I'm going to title this one 2023-2024 first semester and then create hyperlink tabs for each one of the classes that I want to make this notebook for. So then I'll be able to jump from class to class when I'm taking my notes. Now let's move on to make our tabs for the notebook. Now I'm going to show you two different ways that you can make your tabs. First, you can use the shape tool and you can draw out whatever shape that you want. This option is going to give you more customization on the shape of your tabs. So if you wanted to create tabs that were in a heart shape, you could use this option to create your heart or your star. The only thing is to get the color darker, you'll have to copy it a couple more times to make the color less translucent other option that you have and this is the one that I use is to use the text box but make sure that you use the background color you can choose any color that you want as the background color and that'll be the color of your tab I like this option because the color comes out the color that you want and you don't have to keep copying and copying and pasting and copying and pasting to get the color that you want and it looks like a tab and you can even go in and customize the shape of the text box and round out the edges more if you want that curved look to them Make sure that once you've created your text box, you've chosen the color and the font and the size that you want to use, you go in and save that as your default so you can continue using that same size for the next tabs. Only thing you'll have to go in now and change is the background color. Speed things up here a little bit. I'm just going in and making my other tabs. I'm going to make one for biology, one for history, one for English, and then one for computer science. Now that I have the tabs created, I'm going to use the lasso tool to circle on each one of the tabs and use the resize option and that'll give me the ability to turn it to the side because I want my tabs going down the page and I can drag them over and put them in place. Now that I have my tabs in place, I'm going to use the page with the plus sign and I'm going to add the current template four more times so I have a page for each one of the dividers. Now it's time to add in the hyperlink. So we're going to go back to the first page and what you want to do is make sure that you tap the text box. You can select text box or you can use your lasso and tap the box where the text is and it'll switch over to text box. From here on the toolbar, you want to select add link. When you add the link, it's going to pop up to add a link to this document. Now you can link to other documents outside. Like if I had another notebook and I wanted to link the two, you have that option. So make sure you link to document and this document is selected. And then you're going to select the page option and select the page that you want to link the tab to. So now that I've linked all of my tabs to my dividers, I'm going to use the lasso tool to circle all of the tabs down. And then I'm going to copy and paste all the tabs to each one of the dividers. So now they're all hyperlinked.
So now that we've created the dividers, I'm going to go in and add a page in behind each divider for each section. So at this point, you can use whatever template that you want to use, any color that you want to use, however you want to create your notebook, you can do that at this point. Now that I've added pages to each one of the divider sections, I'm going to go in and put a label on the divider. I'm just going to add the class name in for my dividers, but since we left this page white, you can decorate it however you want. You can just put the name for the class on there, you can use stickers on here, you can get as creative as you want on your dividers because you have a blank document to work with. And now we have a hyperlink notebook to use in the GoodNotes app. When you select the tabs, now it'll jump from divider to divider. If you want it to go in on your pages and add these tabs, all you have to do is copy them with the lasso tool and paste them on the page and you'll be able to hyperlink any pages that you add to your notebook. All right, y'all, that's all I have for today. I hope that you found this helpful and you're as excited to use this new feature as I am. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe so you get notifications for my next video. All right, y'all, till next time.